Okay, welcome to Lab 8, Configuring DNS Zones. <clears throat> we are working through the lab manual from Microsoft Official Academic Course, Administering Windows Server 2012 R2 in Preparation for Exam 70-411. This first ex uh, video is going to go over Exercise 8.1, Installing DNS. And then we'll, we'll have separate videos for each one of these other activities. Okay, so the overview, domain name system or DNS is already installed on the RWDC01. We did that during the lab setup. However, we need a second DNS server for future exercises. Therefore, during this exercise, we're going to install a second DNS server on server one. The mindset that DNS is a naming service that is used by TCP IP network and is an essential service used by the internet. For years, Windows servers have included the DNS role. The estimated completion time for this lab is 10 minutes. So with that, let's get started. So I already have my domain controller up. My RWDC is logged in. And I'll flip over to my server 01. And I'm going to go into my server manager. And I'm going to Expand that. <clears throat> now here we're going to click on Manage, Add Roles and Features, Next, Next, Next. And we are going to select the DNS server and then Add Features and Next. Next, next, and install. So this process does take a few minutes, so I'm going to pause the video while this installs, or while this gets set up. Okay, installation was successful, so I'll go ahead and click on close. Now this is the end of this exercise. Um, but if you're following along in the lab manual, you want to take a screenshot and it should show the DNS over here on the left. Although it says to take a screenshot of the Add Roles and Features wizard still open, but I already clicked on Close. All right, so that brings us to our first question. For a typically large organization, how many DNS servers should you install? Every organization is going to need a minimum of two DNS servers. In addition, each site should have its own DNS server, and the secondary server will be a DNS server of at the corporate office. All right, so normally I end the lab at the end of the exercise because that was such a short exercise. We're going to jump right into exercise 8.2, creating a primary and secondary zone. <coughs> During this exercise, uh, you're going to create a secondary, a primary and secondary zone on the RWDC and Server 01. The mindset for the Contosa Corporation, you are building a new network. Therefore, you need to install DNS to support your network. You have three primary sites. When your primary and secondary is zoned, you can have only one primary zone. The other site have to be the secondary zone. Therefore, you will have one primary zone and two secondary zones. The estimated time for completion of this exercise is 15 minutes. So let's get started. So we're already logged into the RWDC. And you'll notice I only have the two machines running right now. That's because if I don't need to have the third one, it actually improves the speed of my processes. <coughs> Okay, so now we're going to go into Tools, 
and we're going to click on the DNS. It's going to open up the DNS Manager console. So what is the primary tool to manage the DNS in Windows? And that's going to be the DNS Manager console. Okay, now we're going to expand the server, and it already is. I'm going to minimize server 1. <clears throat> minimize my server manager and maximize my DNS manager. <clears throat> Alright, so we've expanded the server and you can see the forward lookup zones and the reverse lookup zones. We want to right click the forward lookup zone. Let's try left click. Now do right click. That's better. And we're going to choose new zone. Here we're going to go ahead and click on next. And you'll notice the primary zone is already selected. We want to click to deselect store the zone and active directory option. And then we're going to go ahead and click on next. Alright, the zone name page opens. In the zone name page text box, we're going to type in a D A T U M dot com and then click on next. And we want this to create a new file with this file name. And then click on next. And on the dynamic update page, we want to ensure that we do not allow dynamic updates. It's already selected. And then we'll go ahead and click on Next. And if you're following along in the lab manual, this is where you would take your next screenshot. And we'll go ahead and click on Finish. Now we're going to create a standard forward lookup secondary zone. So now we're going to flip over to Server 1. So I'm going to minimize this. Go to Server 1. Move this over, and we're going to go into Tools, and click on DNS, and expand Server 01. And we want to click on the Forward Lookup Zone, and then right-click New Zone. Here we're going to go ahead and click on Next. And we want to select the secondary zone radio button and then click on next. Here we're going to type in adatum.com and then click on next. And we're going to type in 192.168. Eight dot one dot fifty. Now, when you click on your tab button, it'll go ahead and create it, and then you'll be able to click on next. Here you're going to go ahead and click on Finish. Alright, now we're going to create a standard reverse lookup zone. So I'm going to flip back over to RWDC. And I'm still in the DNS Manager. So I want to left click, right click the reverse lookup zone. And again, we're going to choose New Zone, and Next. On the Zone Type, we're going to go ahead and click on Next. On the Active Directory Zone Replication, we're going to click on Next again. And then, this is already selected, we're going to go ahead and click on Next. Under the Network Address, we're going to type in 
two, four, and then one. And then click on next. On the dynamic updates, we'll go ahead and click on next. And if you're following along the lab manual, this would be where you would complete this. This would be where you would take your next screenshot and go ahead and click on finish. This is the end of this exercise and the end of this video. The next video will go over exercise 8.3, which is creating an Active Directory integrated zone.